The S-Series cameras have different autofocus modes and different ways to customize the autofocus settings. Let's go into the menu and show you the different customizations you have for the camera. To select your different autofocus modes, you press the autofocus button that's right here, and this gives us access to our different autofocus modes. The default will be the single point, or what we call one area autofocus. Pressing down allows you to change the size of that autofocus box to make it larger or smaller. We're going to put it to its default setting. Once here, you can either use a joystick to move the box up and down, left and right, or diagonally. Or you can use the touch screen to select your points. The drawback is you're going to have to follow your subject pretty closely using the joystick, or you're going to have to use the touch screen. If you'd like to use a one area autofocus that has a little more leeway, you can choose the one area plus. From this mode, you'll have a small box that's the primary area of focus, but if your subject drifts a little bit, there's still a little room for leeway. Simply follow the subject around with the joystick, or you can use the touch screen. And anytime you want to return your focus point to the middle, just press the center of the joystick button. Zone focus allows us to set a zone of focus points that the, if the subject's in there, it'll automatically focus. To select the area, press the touch screen under AF area. From here, we can use the wheel to make the area larger or smaller. And once it's set, we can move that up and down with either the joystick or we can use the touch screen. And again, to return it to the middle, simply press the center. Zone focus is really nice if you have a subject that's moving in single direction, either horizontally or vertically. To select the area, you simply turn the wheel up and down to make it narrower or wider. 225 point autofocus is going to do its best to try to guess at what you'd like to focus on. It'll prioritize subjects that are moving. So right now, you'll see sometimes it gets to Don and sometimes it doesn't. Don, can you move around a little bit for us? Now you can see that when it recognized a subject moving, it immediately wants to lock on that moving subject. Tracking mode allows you to put a tracking box on the subject and that box will follow the subject wherever they go. To use tracking mode, simply point the camera at your subject, hold the shutter button halfway down so it's focusing, and you can see as I move the camera, or Don, go ahead and move. As Don moves, you can see the box also tracks. This is a great option with a subject that's moving consistently. Face, eye, body, and animal detection. That's right, this camera can detect dogs, cats, and birds. The way that you turn on animal detection is simply press this up arrow. That turns animal detection on. To remove animal detection, turn it off. Once it's selected, as you can see with Dawn, we have her a box right around her face, and there's a crosshatch. That's her eye detection. It selected her right eye in this case. If Dawn were to turn around and look the other direction, the camera will immediately switch to body tracking. So you don't lose your subject as they're running away from camera. And then as Dawn moves back in, it will jump between body and face as it recognizes Dawn's face. Now that we've shown you all the autofocus modes, let's really put them to the test with a few different scenarios and also show you how you can customize the system to get the best possible results. For this photo example, we're gonna have Dawn run from right to left, perpendicular to the lens. For this, we're gonna set the camera to 225 area autofocus and we're going to leave it in the autofocus custom set. To gain access to this, you go to the top option, which is the photo camera the focus setting, and it's the top option. We're just gonna leave it in set one. Set one is for versatile and basic settings. So we've acquired focus. We're in burst. We're gonna loosen up the tripod so I can track Don. And Don, go ahead. And as you can see, we were able to keep Don in perfect focus. For another option for a runner that's running perpendicular to the camera, Let's go ahead into our autofocus system and let's try zone and we're going to do a horizontal zone. Now we can change the size of the zone. We're going to set it to three, top to bottom. We're going to keep the camera 
in the autofocus custom set. No reason to change it from here. We'll acquire focus. Go ahead. And once again, we were able to keep Dawn in focus. We're now gonna have Dawn run directly into camera and she's gonna be running at full speed. So it's gonna be consistent. So we wanna try a different tra focus mode this time. We're gonna to go to tracking. From tracking, we should also go into the camera's menu and change the AF custom setting to set two. Set two is for objects that move at a consistent rate of speed. You'll see here at the top, the sensitivity goes to a plus one the switching sensitivity goes to a minus one. This means it's gonna hold track of her more consistently. And we keep the moving object prediction to zero because this subject's gonna be pretty predictable moving straight ahead. So we press set, we're in set two. I'm just gonna line up my shot, make sure I'm good. Again, we just hold the shutter button down to track. I'm gonna loosen my tripod so I can follow. And Don, go ahead. Even the last shot gotten perfect focus. It tracked her on every single shot. We'll again have Dawn run directly into camera, so we're gonna keep it in set two. But I wanna try face and body detect to show you that it also works really well in this scenario. So we'll go into our autofocus mode, face, eye, and body. We now have a box around Dawn. I just wanna make sure I'm lined up. We're gonna loosen the tripod so I can follow. Don, come on through. And again, got her all the way through. Tracked every single shot. So another option for the autofocus system when the subject is moving directly into camera at a consistent speed would be to use our One Area Plus. So with one area plus, it's gonna give me a little bit of leeway in case I can't follow the subject quickly with the joystick. So we're gonna go ahead and hit select. I'm going to move my joystick to where my subject is. So now that I have my box set to my subject, we'll go ahead and begin. Go ahead, Don. And as you can see, as I traced my finger across the touch screen, that box tracked every single one of those shots. Now we're gonna have Dawn run in a very erratic pattern, which will both test my skills as a photographer, as well as the autofocus system in the camera. So for this, I wanna put the camera into face and body detect. And we're gonna to go to a different autofocus custom setting. We're gonna choose set four which is for subjects that change speed and move unpredictably. So we'll press set. We've now set that. We're in body tracking. All right, so let me get my tripod loosened so I can track my subject. All right, Don, let me have it. And as you can see, the autofocus kept up a heck of a lot better than I did at keeping Dawn in the frame and in focus. And there's your autofocus modes and your custom settings for the S-series of cameras. Panasonic.